My name is Gary the Numbers Guy, I'm a numerologist astrologer out of Cleveland, Ohio, and in this video we will be discussing money, and why some people like Bill Gates happen to attract money, and why most of us don't. You see the key to this is the number 28, because if you know anything about numerology, most numerologists will tell you 8 is the number of money, which is true. That's why the Chinese started the Olympic Games on 8-8-2008 at exactly 8.08 p.m. 8 has a lot to do with money, but see, people who are born in 8-17-26 or who are 8 life paths in total, example, say someone's born 1-1-2004, one, one, 1-1-2-0-0-4 one, one, zero, zero, adds up to 8, uh, they get money, but it's usually up and down with them. They're either rich or poor a few times in their life. It, 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 it's, it's, it fluctuates with the 8. So, yes, 8 is the number of money, but it's not the number of wealth. When it comes to the number of wealth, 28 reigns supreme. Let me give you some examples so you don't think I'm just one of these numerologists out there who's just telling you what it is without showing you examples. You see, right here, you're looking at the second richest man in the world. He was the richest man in the world at one time. He is Bill Gates. He is bored on the 28th. And if this was my only example, it wouldn't mean much. But see, Bill Gates sitting next to him in this picture is Carlos Slim. And Carlos Slim, the Mexico and telecoms giant, is the richest man in the world as of right now. And yes, just like Bill Gates sitting right next to him in the photo, he is born on the 28th. As a matter of fact, if you look at this list of the richest people in the world, you'll see that Mr. Ortega, the seventh richest person in the world, is born on the 28th too. So now it's not only the two richest people in the world are born on the 28th. Yes, three out of the seven richest people in the world are born on the 28th. Do the percentages on that. Next, let's go to Michael Dell. See, Michael Dell is born 2-23-1965. Add everything up, 2-2-3-1-9-6-5. Adds up to 28. And yes, he is a billionaire. And here's the interesting thing. Steve Jobs... He's a 28 too. And if you notice, his birthday is 2 24, 1955. He's born one day away from Michael Dell. And look at the line of work and look at what they made their billions in. The same line of work. And going back to Steve Jobs, he's born 2 24, 1955. Add everything up 2 24, 1955. Add up to 28 again. So now we have a pattern here. We've established the pattern between the two richest men in the world and other people who've been in the business like Steve Jobs and Michael Dell who are 28. But guess what folks? We aren't done. You see Tiger Woods the richest athlete in the world. Well, <laughs> he was the richest athlete in the world until that lovely lady took half his money. But that's a story for another day. But getting back to Tiger Woods Tiger Woods was born 12-30 1975. 1, 2, 3 Three zero plus one nine seven five adds up to twenty eight, and you see he's the richest athlete in the world as of now. But the guy who will be the richest athlete in the world shares that same birthday as Tiger Woods. Not only that, they have the same numerology number. You see, LeBron James is not only born the same day as Tiger Woods, twelve thirty nineteen eighty four. He adds up to the same number too, one two zero. Plus three zero one nine eight four adds up to twenty eight. Two plus eight again. You have you get the same story. So now we've established the richest athletes in the world, not just the richest people in the world, are born on the twenty eighth. But now this is going to be my greatest example of all time. Anna Nicole Smith. You see, this is how a whore becomes a billionaire. She marries. A 89 year old man at 26 and what I'm showing you here is how the number 28 attracts money because you better believe Anna Nicole Smith is born on the 28th so with all the examples I just gave you do you honestly think this is just a coincidence my name is Gary the numbers guy and I just explained to you why some people have it and most people don't. 